Um, first of all, I love to dance, and so uh, dancing was really uh, part of my joy. Just, just had a real love for dancing and had the pleasure of meeting Jeffrey Nicholson, who I've only known as Nick, <laughs> you know, I, to this day. When I refer to him, and you know, as I've always called him Nick, because you know, in the military, you were always known by your last name, and so I, I performed in a talent show on the base, and so Nick was in the audience at the time, and so um, he and I had worked together and been together, uh, you know, on, on projects, and so I don't think he really knew that I danced like I did, and so. Um, he came by and said, oh, you really have got to check out this group. It's the Denver Black Arts Company, and I, you know, I want you to come and meet these people. And it's like, uh, you know, you're a little shy. Uh, but um, so he convinced me to come, um, and uh, I started attending classes with uh, the group. And so you were there, Donnie was there, and uh, Nick was there. And so I, I, I took some classes, and I got a role um, as Sarsaparilla. And um, unfortunately, <laughs> I, I couldn't perform because I, was I had to go somewhere for the military. Um, I got called out for duty, and so I was gone for a month. And so I felt it would be inappropriate for me to maintain that role when someone else should be doing it. I can't remember the show. Uh, tell me the show. Avatar. Avatar. Death. That was a great show, wasn't it? I was so proud to get that role. I mean, that was a big deal to me. We just went off in another direction, started going to school full time, and so I left that behind and just started just taking, I did a little dancing with the Colorado Ballet, took classes with them, and so I started doing different kinds of things. So, you know, I really reconnected with Jeffrey Nicholson when he and I took African, the African American Leadership Institute together, and he really got shadow you know, just decided that, hey, this is what we're gonna do. So we're some of those first donors that actually gave him money up front, you know, which was, you know, if you, you knew Jeffrey from those days of long gone by, you know, we were always supporting him in something. I still remember getting him out of jail for a uh, parking ticket, you know, Nick needs some money, <laughs> you know. So we were always supporting something that Nick did. Yes, definitely been a strong supporter, you know, and, you know, just just helping in any way that you possibly can. Um, I just went to uh, something that Donnie produced. Uh, he just did um, The Color Purple, and so uh, we took about four or five people as a group, went out to dinner and went to see Donnie's production of The Color Purple at the, oh, I, I think it's still called the Aurora Fox. Everybody changes their name but we just attended that, so, um, you know, just, and it, it has even more uh, a special meaning when either you're dancing in it, you're performing in it, you're producing, Hugo's a part of it, that's someone else I meant, wanted to mention, Hugo's doing something, Donnie's doing something with it, either acting or producing it, it just gives a, you know, a special meaning to it. If you are familiar with the Denver, the Colorado Black Arts Movement, they just started their, they, I just attended a function, made a, a nice donation to them. I don't know if I want to right now, because I'm so busy, donate time to handing out flyers, but I felt it was important that not only do you show up and eat the hors d'oeuvres and drink the drinks, that you in fact really show up and support them by giving either money or your time or both. And so it was nice to participate with that. I know that call went out from Ken Grimes, and um, I think it's really important uh, important that they are doing some work because they're looking at reaching back for our young people because we really need to make sure that the things that are important to us, the, the, um, the things that mean something to our heart, to our souls, that we continue to get that message out and get that message out through the arts. Nothing touches you like the world of the arts, you know, museums, you know, plays and musicals. Um, going to performances, uh, them themselves participated. They they were singers. My my oldest is a singer, has a beautiful voice, but it's like, we also want you to keep a day job. So, you know, let's finish this medical thing up, and if you still want to go on The Voice and America's Next Top, what model, whatever, fine, but 
get a day job. <laughs> so, but I really believe that uh, we expressed to them how important it was to participate in the arts and not just going and attending a show, but also being a voice for that, uh, that medium. Also putting money there, because I think that's really important, that you make contributions, that um, you recognize how important it is to our society. So, um, I think the thing that's most fascinating for me is something like a, a vision by John. You know, here's a man that had this vision, um, the Denver Black Arts Company, and that those individuals that he touched at age 19 and 20, that those are the leaders now. Those are the men and women that are still beating the drum, that are still being the voice for art as we know it today. So I think that's pretty fantastic. Now, I would be remiss if I said that I think we are where we should be. I mean, it's kind of like celebrating the 50th anniversary of the March of Washington. You know, it's incredible that the man standing at the Lincoln Memorial yesterday giving the speech happens to be the President of the United States of America and he happens to be black. <laughs> it's not done though. The work is not done. Uh, but we can't say that a lot hasn't happened over the last 50 years, like we can't say a lot hasn't happened over the last 30 years when it comes to art. Are we where we need to be? No, we really aren't. I would like to see, you know, more art in big mediums like the Denver Art Center for Performing Art. I would like to see more there. I'd like to see more uh, diversity uh, in, in what is presented, you know, making sure we have a real um, conglomerate of all, all diverse groups shown. And so, but I would like to definitely see more African-American art out there, our stories being told more and more. So um, I think we have made strides, but we still have a long way to go. So.